took a trip to my old high school because my chemistry teacher asked me to speak to his class about being a content creator, about life and advice about being successful. And I was so honored to do that. I was very excited about it. It was such a highlight of this trip. I'm done. I spoke and we're finished and I loved it. And they were pretty shy. When I was in school, we probably would have asked a bit more questions. It was still really fun. And I talked to one of the girls after and she's really into video production. And I was like, that's amazing. She doesn't know if she wants to do like be in front of the camera, but I was like, you can do so much even behind the camera. It was a great time. And my mom's here. I have been craving some of this mushroom chicken stuff from this place. I don't know if it's actually healthy for me. I would assume it's not, but I love it. This is one of my favorite things. The chili sauce. Oh, I need to this. So good. It's one of my favorite days of the year, and that is hair day. I want to go really light again. Happy. And I love when I get my hair like this because then it continues to lighten up. Look, Sophie. Oh my goodness. It's my cousin. Hi. 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 after 10 a.m. right now and I should be on my way to the beach with Shane but he forgot that he was picking me up he was just headed to the beach without me didn't even notice what's your excuse well I was supposed to have picked you up and I forgot mm -hmm. and then I thought it was only gonna take 20 minutes and mm -hmm. it took like 40 and were you driving to the beach and then you realized you were like oh yeah should have picked her up no but I was ready I was in my car like I was like I'm ready to go I'm gonna be there I'm gonna be early like it was amazing I'm never early and then I was like I'm not gonna be early so then I had to message you you and just completely forgot me well no I knew you were gonna be there I just forgot I had to come get you <laughs> Thanks, Shane. Yep. It's a great start to our day. Yep, but you know what? I'm late, and that means I'm consistent because I'm always late. So that's not a good thing. the best way to be consistent. We are at Hobo Cantina. I've had some great nights here, some really great times. It's so cute. I'm getting a margarita. Oh, wow. I, mean, I have a big head. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Let's go. Yeah, what a morning. <laughs> this is faster than our marks. It is Sunday morning and it's probably a little after 10.30 and the beach gets really crowded. It's a packed day, but this is like the time to go when kids are in school. So there's usually a little bit more parking and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a little loop and see what's happening. Somebody was pulling out, we pulled right in. My parallel parking skills really came in handy right now. It's my hidden talent. I kind of feel like we should get a snack before we go onto the water. No, we got snacks here, let's just go. Go to the water. I am a minimal beach pack packer. This is enough. This tote bag is like more than enough. You're gonna carry all this? I don't wanna do this. Exactly. This is if we were gonna maybe be here all day. Maybe we were gonna bonfire or something. I am not carrying this chair. You're making everything so much more difficult than it has to be. Oh, they had a rough morning. Just put it on I'm your back. Just my. put it. No, 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 I can't. It's, yes, it you gotta can. understand how stuck I am. Take it out, Daniel. That's it. I'd rather just. Why are you walking in the middle of the street? Walk on the sidewalk. It's not that complicated. My mom hates the water. Let's go. She never got her hair wet when we would do anything by the water when I was a kid. And so this is shocking. Versus myself, I can live in the water. It is so clear and beautiful too today. I am so pleased with my thrifted purchase. And then I also picked up this book at the thrift store. Thrifted sandals, and this is not thrifted but it, it is tasty. So happy. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're gonna do right now. I was born for the beach. I went in, it wasn't quite bone chilling, but cold enough. Trying some things. I always do a double cleanse. This just looks promising. This has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C. That sounds fantastic, and this would be the water-based ones. I always do a double cleanse. It really has helped with any breakouts, especially if I wear a lot of makeup. I got my tried and true, and I talked to a girl at the beach, and her skin was so beautiful. 
and she swears by this. Seven dollars. That's what they said. You know how to say it in Spanish? It's embarrassing. Let's go. We got aguas frescas. Strawberry. In Espanol? Uh, I don't know. I think you say pres presa. Oh wow, that's fantastic. Oh, the, the strawberry is exactly what I expected. <laughs> Oh, my girl is bleeding. Darla, mama, I love you. We gotta get her to a doctor. I don't have money I'm sorry, Darla. Daddy! She can't see a thing. Oh, Daddy, you can't even see, my sweet girl. I can't believe you come say hi. Darla, Darla. Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta wet him. Boy. I gotta wet him. I'm back and I'm sweaty. I just have to say, I would not be surprised at all if Lyft gets a class action lawsuit. Twice recently, I would call a car and then it would say, we're gonna get you your driver details in seven minutes. And then I would wait 15 minutes and then it would say, sorry, no drivers available. Although, Anytime you would call the car, there's like a clump of cars that are showing that they're right beside you. So I did that three times tonight and I waited 50 minutes with no car called. At which point I gave up and I had to re-download Uber and I was able to get a car. And once again though, their wait times were inaccurate and then the time increased to seven minutes. But Lyft though, whenever it would tell me, sorry, no drivers suddenly available, it would still give me the option to upgrade my ride. It sounds like they're just not giving me ride details and they're waiting until I get frustrated enough to upgrade the ride. Well, guess what? I won't, out of spite. My flight landed at 9.30. I did not get back until 11.18. There's no reason for that. I'm going to 48 Lounge tonight. They invited me to an event and I texted my friend Elena to see if she was available on very short notice. So she said, yes, she's gonna meet me over there. I tried the Kenra No Frizz Spray on my dry hair. I think it worked a little bit too well. Usually I've been curling my hair and my curls have been falling because of the humidity. Curled them, shook them out as usual, thinking that they were just gonna fall and they have not fallen. Now I know to be a little bit more cautious because this is just more than more than what I was going for. Oh my gosh, do I look pale today. We're here at 48 Lounge with hot men. We just, we were like, wait a second, is this the spot? I texted Danny and I was like, we need to come work here every single day. Yes. They hide in here. So it's like the secret hidden spot. There's a restaurant basically in this huge office. Yeah, room, guys, like wait, this town. must be where they, and we were here at about 5 p.m. Just to let you know, on a Wednesday. Place. super fun and I got to meet the owners of 48 Lounge and they are so so sweet and so kind which made the night even better so I loved it but I decided to walk because I ate so much food and I noticed I was walking past the Tonight Show and I've never walked here and even though I don't really try to go to really any touristy places, I still have an appreciation for all of them. And I still think it's really cool. I still get excited. I'm jumping right back into pageant content right now, which is not easy at all, even with the help of an editor. It's just some of the episodes I have to edit myself because my editor will turn it around in like 48 hours and some of these episodes need to be out today. So I'm working on that. Basically, I worked all day yesterday, went to sleep at like 6.30 p.m., woke up at 11, worked till 2.30 a.m., fell asleep, woke up at 11, and then have been working all day. And then I realized, oh my gosh, I have an event to go to today at 6 p.m. So I need to get ready for that. I need to upload this footage and I need to get to that event that I promised to be at with this brand that I've been working at called Secret Mission Boutique. And also I'm so far behind on all of my emails. I have collaborations just sitting in my inbox right now that I need to do, but I also need to edit all this stuff and film it. I really need a team one day and I cannot wait till I can afford to pay them. But this is, this is what it looks like. This is the road to 
a million subscribers. I'm ready to go for my secret mission boutique shop and sip event. Thrifted Zara, vintage thrifted necklaces. I don't think these are vintage, but they are thrifted. This is a Carrie Forbes woven bag. What a steal, thrifted at Goodwill. Pants are petite sophisticate, which I don't think exists anymore, but there are so many brands that make these slim cut brown pants and they are a staple in my closet. Joan and David leather heels. Check out Secret Mission Boutique because they are a sustainable fashion brand, which is why we are going to their event. I can't wait to show you all of their new styles. Ah, they are so cute. was super fun. I met with Laura, the designer and creator of Secret Mission Boutique, and we're going to try to collab on some things in the future. And then I also got some Thai tea with no boba. And this hopefully is going to help motivate me to get through editing my next video for Miss USA content. Let's get through this. It's almost midnight and I just finished filming two episodes. One thing that's always helped my channel to grow is to take advantage of trends or anything that's trending or anything that's going on in your field, in your industry. And for me, that happens to be Miss USA. So I am just doubling, tripling if I can, all of my output for content for that. Super exhausting. I I'm in my pants I was wearing and this dress that I actually wore to Miss USA. I'm about to edit one of the episodes and get it out. Can't afford a team yet, but you know what? That's what we're working for. We're working for goals. I, I cannot wait for the day because the day will come when I do have a team and I could put out so much more content that people are asking for. That will make my heart so happy because there's so many episodes that people ask for that I just that it's just beyond my capacity. But imagine the day when I have enough subscribers to hire and oh, to provide jobs. That's just, that is so cool to be able to do that, to help support other people and dream and work together. I can't wait for the day, but that day is not today, unfortunately. I need to get back to work. And my tripod broke. The plastic broke right off. It's another expense. Somebody help. This is one of those days where I rally and it also makes no sense because I woke up at 11. But I woke up at 11 because I stayed up so late and I stayed up so late because I have been editing non-stop for the past two days. But tonight there is an event at the Highlight Room at the Moxie Hotel and it's for Kite Beauty. I've been using their products for a few months. They are vegan, cruelty-free, and founded by a woman, which is pretty cool. Even though I feel blech, I am gonna rally to be supportive because it's a small female-owned business, and even though I don't know the owner, that's okay. When it's in our capacity, we should support other women, and I do really, really love the product. Clearly, I love and use it. It comes in these little pods. You can separate them or you can use them together. These are literally made for travel convenience. If you prefer a different type of applicator, it might not be for you. A full coverage concealer and it's hydrating. I like to apply concealer with my finger so I don't lose any product. Getting translucent powder and then pressing it in to just set that. Here is my under eye all powdered. I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and then we'll get dressed. I'm wearing my thrifted nasty gal skirt, my thrifted vintage Angora sweater, and I'm styling it backwards because I like the buttons and because I wanted a high neck to go with this necklace that's vintage. Thrifted, it's by Topshop. Then I went with classic patent leather pointed toe red bumps, very easy. Let's go to the event. tripod. I'll show you the area. Look, it's like this perfect little spot for me. I just finished capturing content for a Thousand Fell collaboration. Super excited because I've been wearing these sneakers for years. So when you get to partner with brands that you actually 
have been wearing for years before they approach you, I feel like it's just more meaningful. We are also pretty close to Trader Joe's, and I don't have a Trader Joe's that close to me, so we're gonna go grocery shopping. Welcome to grocery shopping in New York. <laughs> this is normal. This is just life here. 